Hello everyone, this is a simulation 2 in the course of PEC. On one hand, we will take MOSFET as an example to discuss how to measure its terminal characteristics. On the other hand, we will review the function of the parameter sweep. We will also introduce another simulation function, DC sweep. In the previous lecture line, we found that the MOSFET can be regarded not only as a resistor but a current source as well due to the value of IDS when changing UDS while UGS is constant. So we will see if UGS is changed, it's not only a changeable resistor but also a changeable current source. So the controlled variable UGS can make it to be a controlled resistor or a controlled current source between D and S. Before the simulation, let's do some research. The terminal G is always open respect to D and S, that is the other parts of the circuit. How to verify this? We also use the parameter sweep. We need to change V1 here. For example, it's changed from 0 to 10 volts. One point is ended at the step of 1 volts. So 11 points is measured. The output is not IV2, but IV1. We end a minus sign by double click. Double click IV1 now. It means we end V1 from 0 to 10 volts and measure the current flowing into terminal G. Click grid on. The horizontal axis represents UGS while the vertical axis represents IG, the current flows into G. Of course, it's a straight line, but you should pay attention to the vertical axis. It's in picoampere magnitude. So we have approximate thought that IG is always zero as UGS is changed from zero to 10 volts. This proves that terminal G is always open respect to the other two terminals. So we can have a approximate thought that it can be regarded as a two terminal element between D and S. The two terminal elements characteristic is controlled by UGS. Now we do another parameter sweep to reproduce the sweep in lecture 9. We should extend the range of V2. Choose V2 to adjust. Adjust it from 0 to 10 volts. One point is added at the step of 1 volts. The output is changed to minus IV2. It means the output is IDS. Then do the simulation. Do you see? It is a graph showing the cost wear of lecture 9. It increases linearly from zero and then slows down and approaches to saturation. So it's a resistor in this section and a current source in this section. How does this line change with different UGS? We need to use another function to realize it, which is called the DC sweep analysis. DC sweep ends another changed variable on the basis of parameter sweep. We set the source of, of parameter sweep V2 from 0 to 10 volts. One point is added at the step of 1 volts. The output is minus IV2, which is completely the same as the previous parameter sweep. Then we choose to use source 2. We change V1 from 0 to 6 volts, and one point is added at the step of 1 volts. In other words, we measure 7 curves. Let's see. It is not clear in the black background. Click this button to change it into the white background. You can see the first, the second, and the third curve are overlapped here. We want to know when V1 is 0, 1, 2, what does this line mean? Here is the 0 point. We use the cursor 
to read the numbers. You see, it's all picoampere and magnitude. So they are overlapped, and all of them are zero. The line means it's open. Any UDS is respect to zero IVS, IV2. It means when UGS is zero, one, and two volts, it is an open circuit between D and S. This is a characteristic when UGS is changed to three volts, four volts, five volts, and six volts. Well, let's focus on these four curves. Firstly, in this section, they can all be regarded as resistors, and it's obvious that they are controlled resistors controlled by UGS. In this section, they can all be regarded as uh, current sources, and it's obvious that they are controlled current sources controlled by UGS. There's another very important finding. UGS is linearly changed from 3 to 4, from 4 to 5, from 5 to 6. It's ended a 1 volt every time, but from the graph, the increase of the output current IDS is nonlinear. So it's a nonlinear relationship between IDS and the UGS. In other words, such a controlled current source is different from the linear voltage controlled current source previously discussed in lecture 9. It is a nonlinear voltage controlled current source. In order to understand what the nonlinear relationship is, we need to do another simulation. Now, V2 is set constantly as 5 volt. We adjust the value of V1 to see how does IDS change. Now we change V1 from 0 to 10. One point is ended at the step of 1 volt. The output is IDS. You see? When UGS is changed from 0 to 2 or around, IDS is almost 0. Y2 is obviously increasing with the increase of UGS. The tendency is obviously nonlinear. In the following lectures, we will teach you how to use a relatively precise equation to represent this characteristic. Okay, this is the end of simulation 2.